welcome back to the BSN channel as usual it's been a long time since we've done something like this you know what time it is it's soup time my mum went away for a vacation to uh, Holland she come back isn't that right mum yeah. that means there was no soup mate it, well, when, even when she was here there was no soup mate but anyway we're making a type of uh, light soup 20 minute soup all right, my mum calls it 20 minute soup. Are you all right, y'all? There's something you want to say? No. All right, all right. Bye, bye. Well, come and say hello, man. I'm not pleasant right now. You are pleasant, man. You always look beautiful. Oh, thank you. Sure, you call that beauty. <laughs> mum, don't be like that. You turn, like, you turn me. See, like, you're always beautiful, man. Like, you're like a model, bro. Look at you, look at you. Nice, tall guy. Mm. Yeah, it says foot two. I don't know how tall I'm so. Uh, it must be up then. Six foot. He's, he's, no, you're I'm definitely you're definitely close to six foot two. Definitely. No, no, I'm he is two already. I think he's six foot one. Six foot one and a half maybe. I don't know. Nah, nah, three, 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 three. I ain't that tall. Jeez. Hey, you looking forward to the soup? We're making twenty minutes soup. Can you get me some uh, uh, okra from market? Get, um, uh, it stinks today. No, go and get the, the okra thing. Get me okra from the freezer, search for Okay, so what we have in here first, sorry, because, you know, I was speaking a bit. To a beautiful boy. Yeah. We've got kippers in here. All right, kippers are nice, stinky fish. Search for it. I don't know where it is. There's two kippers in here at the moment. Nothing else, oh. just kippers and water. All right, we... Water green in it. We, we, let me just explain what's inside of this. Okay, so we grinded up some... Baby spinach, some onions, some tomatoes, chili. some chili, oh. scotch bonnet, and grinding together. I use two onions. Uh, how many peppers? One scotch. One scotch bonnet and half a pack of spinach. So we're gonna pour this in. Oh yeah, and onions. Did I say onions? Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Sorry, my bad. All right, now we're gonna add this to the soup. I don't want to use go my on, left. Go on, go on. All right. There's no okra. There should be one, stage five. You can't, mm. I can't see it. I can't eat it. Mm. Jeez. What was the opera? To gum shake gum. That's enough, that's enough. All right, all right. All right. This, is, this looks a bit like a, a bonbonum quine. This is called Anything Goes. All right, so this is what you call a, a, a reckless soup. No, 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 seriously, because there's not... My mum's just come back from Holland, yeah? And we haven't... We've done shopping, but not her type of shopping, so... Um, there's not enough Ghanaian ingredients in the house, you know? So, we've had to just improvise without the usual ingredients. It is. It's called anything. Togum shagum. Togum shagum. What's, what, 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 yeah, what are you trying to say, man? Do you put sugar in Milo? He wants to know if you put sugar in Milo. <laughs> yes, if you're used to drinking with sugar, you drink with... Uh, if, you, if you're used to drinking something sweet, add two spoons of sugar. Oh, so, so pour them. Pour. What are you talking about is this? Ma, what are you doing? Breaking some meat in the book. Hey, he's talking about Milo right here. Now, uh, mum, what are you adding into? Um, anything that I can find from the freezer. Is that lamb? Some bone here. Is it goat? Lamb? Goat. Lamb, lamb bones. I just want something. This is here. just anything soup. She didn't, <laughs> she didn't even put no ginger in the soup. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> no, dude. All right, you're talking, you're talking about this miller right here, yeah. Um, what I, I usually do that. is, I don't add no sugar. Yeah, since I've got older now, I don't put sugar in my tea, I don't put sugar in my coffee, I don't put sugar with this, because there's already sugar inside this. But if you're used to drinking with sugar, yeah, add two spoons or three spoons, it's up to you. But really, try and reduce your sugar. Diabetes is serious. <laughs> Anyways. Yeah. Yeah, okay. You know what they call me? They call me Bema Efutusem. Translation. <laughs> I call, I'm, I'm a futusem, a futusem bear man. Bear Mhm. I'm the man to come through for advice. No, I'm joking. I'm joking. So what do you do, yeah? 
do you usually put sugar after the tea or do you put sugar before the tea? I like to put it tea? before the tea so yeah, it melts it. It's better, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. I, I really prefer it. Let me get a spoon. What are you doing, Miller? Yeah, after I've had the milkshake. <laughs> hey, you finished your whole milkshake. Yeah, I did you? Mm. This is becoming like green soup. This is how the, the, our forefathers ate the soup. We need some African stuff in the house. Yeah, ASAP. We need some dokono, some enchina. Isn't that, yeah? Some I need to go and buy catfish. A ponchinam. Oh, you actually talking about a cat and a fish? No, no, catfish. It's no, no, I'll buy a cat and a fish separately. <laughs> well, uh, how do you say that? A dinner one quang. A dinner one quang. Whilst I'm eating the dinner one, the dinner one will be eating the fish. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. I had a, I had an uncle that he hunts cats because they're cheapest. You know, people leave their cats outside. So I'm gonna. Not from my family. Oh, he's not from my mum's family. See, my mum wanted to, you know, distinguish that point very well. He's not part of our family. We just call him uncle. But he's not blood related. Okay. Anyway, he hunts cats. Sorry, I'm not standing still. Um, he hunts cats, yeah, from behind. I've told you this in a previous video. What he does is he creeps behind them because cats can take your eye out. They're very quick. So you've got to grab it by the head and the hips at the same time. And then when you grab it, you pull in opposite directions to stretch the head away from its spine. And straighten it. And then it's dead. It dies quick. It's not a horrible death. Then what you do is you begin to gut the animal. You skin it and then you gut the animal. Isn't that right, Mom? Yeah, I think so. I don't know. <laughs> you just said I think so, and then you said I don't know. I was not listening. You talking about killing a cat for? You crazy? We have to have a you know a dinner one quiet one day. You know? You're joking, when? In this country. Not this time. All right. Go to the guy who told you about it to eat it. What about okra man quiet? Oh, dog. Yeah. That is white man friend. <laughs> oh yeah, we'll, we'll do that. White man friend. We'll do some prison time. <laughs> time in prison. Oh yeah, and one thing I, d I forgot to mention, yeah. We put some um, chopped tomatoes in here as well, or plum tomatoes. Sorry, I forgot to mention. So, remember, tomatoes go in this. It's not just, not just spinach. I'm joking. I, I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't make a, a a dog soup. Yeah, I don't want people thinking I'm some madman. But there's some people in Ghana who do eat that, and it's not their fault because you know chicken, goat, lamb can be expensive for some people, and some people need to. They need to eat, and in Ghana, dogs and cats are just lying about. So why not steal a cat or dog and get you some dinner? Hey, meat is meat at the end of the day, okay? You know, in, in the Western countries, the way we treat dogs and cats are so different to the way Ghanaians treat, treat dogs and cats. You know? Like, for example, a dog and a cat to a Ghanaian, it's just a furniture in the house. Yeah? You wouldn't feed the furniture in the house the dinner that you eat. You just give it what it needs. So, dogs in Ghana, sometimes they just, you just give them a bit of, uh, you know, corn. Well, I mean, um, like, kenke. The kenke that you don't want to eat, you just mix a bit of water in it, and then you just leave it out for the dogs. And the bones that you throw away, you might as well throw it out to the dogs as well. But don't give them fish bones, because, you know, the, the, the dogs in Ghana, they'll eat anything. But the fish bones can cut their stomach. You have to be careful about that one. But any bone, cheese. The dogs will go crazy for them bones. You must be, oh, seriously. Oh, 
Alright, so what we're doing here is we're just going to let this boil because that's the whole point of the soup. You let it boil, let the flavours come out, be invited to each other's houses so they get to know each other, so they can be friends to the point where, where they become close associates. And then you know it's done because they become one family. And that family is called Enquine. Enquine, sorry. Nice soup. Oh yeah, the water's being boiled for the fufu. Uh, we're gonna come back when the soup has become more mature. When the ingredients have become more than just close associates. They're very, very close. Mm. Always take time to remember or say to do. This is the way he would have wanted his soup to be done. Anyway, I'm gonna come back. How long are we gonna come back for? About 10 minutes. Alright, so we'll let this boil for 10 15 minutes and we'll come back. Peace. Okay, we're back now. <laughs> um, abruptly. Uh, this, is, this is not the 10 15 minutes part, uh, th this is just a separate part. My mum has just told me that we're not making fufu, we're making this. Okay, I'll put it aside. Yeah, yeah, you see it. Semolina. Seriously, mum. Mum, I love you, yeah, but you can't do this. Our lo our lo my love for you will decrease by 0.01%. You're gonna make this beautiful soup? Well, even though it's a, you know, a reckless 20 minute soup. <laughs> <laughs> it's a fast soup, <laughs> quick, quick soup. No, no meat in the house. This is a chali wate soup. It's chali, let's go. Biela, 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 biela soup. Biela, biela, you know. Yeah, anything. Semolina. I used to hate this as a child. What are you gonna make with this? You'd be better with making concontain. 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 Yeah, there's no what did you call what did you call con conte in Ghana? Is it called back of the wall? Um, <laughs> uh, Face in the wall? No no no, what do they call what's the nickname for it? Face, face in the wall. It's called face in the wall because people don't want to be seen eating con conte. They don't want to be seen. But I'll eat that. I used to love that as a child, but I don't I mind do this one. If I'm to do this, I'm going to make it very very that will be the last time we eat this kind of fufu. No, 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 the no, 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 there be, there be, pacho, there be, no, 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 don't make this the last time, okay? Because you you birthed me into this earth to eat fufu, you know? Uh, what she's doing is she's uh, chucking in some frozen ginger. Um, if you don't have um, frozen ginger, use fresh ginger from the beginning. Sorry. Yeah, this is it. You understand, my relationship with fufu is very different. I mean, I love fufu to the point. It's not good, it's not good. It's not good for you, but. Fufu. Let me break it down. Fufu is like a nanny. You know when your mum gives you to someone to look after you while she goes to work? Yeah? Fufu is like a nanny. It looked after me, it cleaned my stomach. It taught me how to be bold. Mm. Yes. I didn't appreciate fufu until I had to go and live on my own. For tertiary education. I had to, for the first time, be away. Well, it's not the first time. I've been away from my mum before, but permanently be away from my mother. So there was no soup. 
I was hungry. There was times where I only ate porridge, no milk, no sugar, nothing, nothing. You don't know how to budget, that's why. Yeah, that was my first mistake. That's when I, that's when I learned how to cook. Cooking is very important. But when I came back to my home, I appreciated everything my mom cooked. Whether it was rice and butter, I didn't care. I said, mom, you cook the best. I, I'm sorry I forsaked you. I'm sorry. That's why I love Fufu. I took Fufu for granted because it was always there when I needed it. Respect. Anyway, we'll come back when the Fufu's being done. When it's done. Welcome back. And uh, the Fufu's done. This is what you call the 20 minute soup. Oh, approximately this is the quick light soup you see nice nice green brownish it smells like stinking fish mm -mm -mm. this is my favorite mm. this is the Ghanaian way of uh, cooling it down see right here other countries might do this I don't know you know if you do let me know as you can see right there Got the meat right there. And actually, no, that's that's the fish right there. You can see the nice juices. See all the ingredients in the soup. I asked my mum, yeah, what what does this taste like to you? What does this smell like to you? She said it smells like Africa. That's all I needed to hear. That's all I needed to hear. Mmm, we got some nice goat meat there, right off the bone, right off the bone. Mmm, some nice coco yam fufuo. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mm. Now, you will excuse me whilst I demolish this. I'm going I'm to I'm start from there. I'm going to nibble on a bit of the meat and go there. Then I might drink that side of the soup. Oh, my belly's rubbing. Ah. Then have some more fish there. That's the kippers. You see the kippers? Kippers stink. And if it don't stink, it... it if it don't stink, it's not good, all right? The kippers made sure it stunk. Obviously, you make sure you put your salt in there, your, your jumbo or your maggi cube or your stock cube. Don't forget about that. We did rush through this video a bit. Um, anyway, hope you enjoyed. If not, it is what it is. Peace. Welcome back to the BSN channel. And, uh... Oh. I wasn't meant to say that. Anyway, this is my meal. Well, obviously not this. No, this is my meal.